creepers what's up you crazy creeps it is clear ski and i'm back check out this piece behind me it says belmont if you guys can't read it we are in the sunnyside belmont district today we're going to creep around do some then and now shots and also some ghost tracks of an old trolley stay tuned today's going to be a fun one give you guys a better shot here of this piece right here off the of 39th pretty cool all right a bunch more to come all right you guys we are walking the belmont district like i said we're going to do some really cool before and after shots i'm excited for this one this is my old stomping grounds i just lived right down past 39th avenue where we just started maybe we'll creep by my old spot too i'll show you guys a a quick filming location as well from when I live there. Here's a fairly newer little food cart area. This is the Bite on Belmont. They got a ton of different selections, some coffee. Looks like most of them are closed at this moment, but sure as heck they will be up fully operational soon enough, especially on these beautiful days. Good little spot here. And of course, movie Madness. It's one of my favorite haunts, if you will. <laughs> We've definitely done a lot of vlogs from here in the past, so always got to give them a props. I actually forgot to show this the last couple times. We went inside movie Madness. They've got this huge mural here, and I'm so glad I remembered. I've been wanting to get this on the vlog for you guys. Just a ton. Of awesome movies. We got Gremlins, Pee Wee Herman, Ghostbusters, Splash, Edward Scissorhands, Adam's Family, Chucky, Blues Brothers, Kermit. <laughs> nice, a ton. This is on the back side here. Well, actually, on the parking side of Movie Madness. Very cool. Oh, they've even got a, a baby Seymour. <laughs> From little shop of horrors heck yeah and right here next to the laundromat is this old school mural it's like a relic it's when the the old trolley still came through here you can see the cart number there up top belmont street and we are going to go find the some of the old remnants of the old tracks. Not too far from here. But this was definitely a score. This ties right into today's vlog. I love it. Absolutely love street art anyways, but when you incorporate the history there, that makes it so much cooler. Love it. So, walking down Belmont here, off to our next spot, I wanted to show you guys some vintage Portland. I wanted to do some before and after just to so you guys can get a better feel of what Southeast looks like if you're from here or not. And our first shot's going to be right here on the corner of 39th and Cesar Chavez Boulevard, which is in Southeast Portland. And a lot has changed, but not too much drastically. I'll let you be the judge here in a second when we get up a little bit closer. I'll show you guys. So check this out, you guys. See these old street lamps here i think these are some of the original street lamps right here on southeast peacock lane which during the holidays they decorate all the homes with really an extravagant light show but check these out the old street lamps still rocking here on southeast peacock and belmont absolutely awesome all right so our first shot like i said would have been right about here and one of the things that caught my eye right away was this building here. And if you look closely, that red house and the other house adjacent to them, you can see in the picture as well. But one thing that I thought was really cool is if you look at the ground here, you can see the old Belmont track still in the old picture. But right about here, you can see this building very prevalent and just vaguely these homes right through here. Right here in front of my old apartment building and as soon as it's safe to cross we're gonna go 
right over here to this house behind this bar here because that is where Morgan Freeman came to town. Gosh, it was probably about 2008 when they filmed it. I could be wrong, but they, they filmed the Feast of Love right here upstairs inside that building right there, or that house, really. At the time, it was apartments for rent. And a friend of mine lived there, and they displaced them for a while and paid for everything, but right there, Feast of Love, 19, or 19, 2000 and, oh, roughly eight or so. Morgan Freeman, and this right here was my apartment. That window right there and that door led right into my apartment at the time, so I could literally look out my window and see the production crew right out here. And I wasn't vlogging or anything back then, so kind of unfortunate I didn't get any pictures, but pretty cool to think that all these years later, in fact, in the movie, you can see from the top part here out onto Belmont, I don't think you can see my apartment window in the building, but this was a coffee shop at the time called Soundgrounds, and I believe you can see just the corner of the building in the shot. I'll see if I can pull it up online. But right there, Feast of Love, Morgan Freeman. All right. I have to say I do like all the homes up and down these blocks. They are all really pretty with the big front porches on them. A lot of these ones have seen better days but have a ton of ton of potential but i love these different style homes along belmont here we're going to keep creeping right up here a ways because there's a couple more things i want to show you guys and check this out we've got this historic fire building right here as well the belmont firehouse i've always loved the looks of this and they've got this memorial here for everybody that was lost to 9-11 and just firefighting in general but this is such a beautiful building i love how the ivy's kind of growing up the side here too let's back up a bit and see if we can get a better shot very cool to think that the fire trucks could have pulled right in both these garages here very nice looks like they've got a truck in there as well ton of history about the walls and whatnot. Put the camera in over here and see if we can oh look at that there's the old fire pole in there as well that is cool oh and the old truck that old truck there on the left very cool 1883 here is the Avalon theater here the Wonderland arcade where you can actually watch movies as well been here since 1925 my mom used to take us here all the time she came here as a kid as well here's a better shot of the Avalon here from the other side 1925 it's been here for a long time and I love the uh, when the Avalon's all lit up. It's pretty cool. All right, kind of in the middle of the road here, but our next shot brings us to 33rd, right here on Belmont Street. And if you look closely in the old picture, you could have seen the train or the trolley rather parked right here would have been a little station and if you look really closely you can actually see these buildings in the picture very clear this is all new obviously this was once the carnation building for milk delivery dairy delivery here in portland um, but these buildings all the same structural wise or you know the facade of them all up and down here you know there's businesses and little pizza restaurants and coffee shops now but you can see very clearly, especially the tops, how they're kind of orchestrated. Let's get in the street here and get the picture here, right about here. In fact, you can see it a little bit better from this side of the street, which I love this 
shot right here because it really does justice of the different sh sh shapes of that particular building and then also this structure here in the back you can see it but the train i keep saying train the trolley would have been parked right about there and literally ran all the way down belmont to our next stop i always like this victorian house here on belmont this is like a coffee shop now called the pike cow but i've always loved the the layout with the big roof and whatnot pretty awesome and I believe it's on the historical house list here in Portland as well. Always good to see though. Pretty creepy looking. <laughs> Another shot would have been right about here. The trolley would have been running right down this way, which I believe, like I said before, was a one way. But if you look closely, you can see this house here with the angled roof. And if you look really close, you can see this whole building in the back. So not too much has changed other than maybe the direction of traffic but the same house and the same building all these years later pretty cool to see the difference so like i said the original trolley would have ran right through here no freaking way look at this mural right now not only is this incredible wall to wall top to bottom but look at this you guys I cannot believe this. It's actually the old the old trolley car. Oh my gosh, if that doesn't tie into today's vlog. I don't know what to tell you. There's a ton of art on here. All the way around, but that right there. The original trolley. That is so detailed. And look at this. There's even one here in the back. Oh, it's even got the bridges. And look in the windows, you can actually see all the different homes up and down Belmont. And those are definitely those style with the, with the front porches. God, that is good. And it looks like it's making way, knocking this house out of the way. Holy smokes, that is so good. This was actually an old laundry mat. For years it's been closed. And to think the trolley ran literally right down here. And when we get up here a ways, I'll show you guys where it kind of turned off and is now just a ghost train. And I'll tell you why it makes it so creepy and also interesting as to why I think it's called the ghost train. But I love this right now. At first I thought it was the Max, but it's not. It's the old trolley. So good. All right, so we are creeping one block west of Belmont. Oh, I'm sorry, one block south of Belmont to a place we've been to many of times. Right here on to my left is the Lone Fir Cemetery like I said, which we visited many of times, but right here, right here is what I wanna show you guys. Check this out. If you can see very closely, there are two sets, one on each side here. These ones have been pretty well covered over the years, but you can see they've always maintained, or always come back rather, and all the way down on both sides, this is the original, original trolley. Would have ran right down Morrison here on 26th. Now I'm not sure if it would have looped up from Belmont or if it actually came through this away and maybe none of these properties were here. But I also wanted to show you something. Well, let's take a look at these tracks a little better here. And I can show you these end right about here on this side just mysteriously and these ones look like they would have continued to run literally up this path here maybe down here or maybe even adjacent to where this retaining wall is now but the interesting thing is is when this cemetery was built these were boarding houses right here on Morrison and 26 and I believe it's either this one or that one you can see prevalently in the shot 
the train would have been right about here and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here in one second. All right, you guys, so like I said, we've crept here many of times, but where we are going is just right through here, and I'll show you the exact spot where the trolley would have been, right here at the Lumfer Historic Cemetery. There's a ton of upright headstones, which makes this place really cool. But what I wanted to show you guys would have been right about here because I think that well let's get up here closer and then I'll tell you guys you would have been able to see just barely this boarding house at the time um, I believe now it's actually just a residence um, but if you look really closely you can see actually the trolley sitting park I believe would have been the station um, just by the looks of the old kind of where the train uh, trestles and the tracks would have rested there's kind of more of a a sectioned off piece where both of the tracks would have either passed each other or connected uh, via maybe a switch or something um, but in the shot you can see some of these headstones and both of these trees and I will show you guys what I mean here in one second I will insert the shot here right about here maybe back a little bit past this fence here and I can't really step onto that awning because this big fence here but if you look very closely in the very corner of the sh of the old shot which I will enter here you can see this boarding house I believe it's this headstone but it just the, the camera would have been back over this way a little farther but you can see both of these trees very prevalent and if you look closely you can see the trolley parked right about here so the tracks did run all the way through like I thought we're going to creep over to the other side and see if maybe they they break out from the other side of the cemetery. But they are basically running right through the cemetery. So that's why I called it the ghost train. Pretty much just fades into nowhere. Into the cemetery. It's always beautiful walking through here. kind of creepy to think that the ghost train would have came basically right through here to think maybe the the train still picks up passengers from the cemetery <laughs> don't want to scare you or frighten you but just a thought you never know So I'm wondering if we step out here on the corner if those tracks will keep going or if literally that would have been its final destination. Oh, it looks like there's a, a sign up here. Block 14 at Lone First Cemetery. And it looks like there's a train on here. Well, at least some tracks. Could those have been... Wow, those could have been the tracks right there. Oregon's early Chinese laborers and merchants, thousands of people traveled by ship from southern China to the United States. In the mid to late 1800s, many performed the most audacious tasks of building the Pacific Northwest infrastructure and economy and were unpaid for their work. Over a thousand of these laborers and later Chinese families were buried here at Block 14, the historic Chinese section of the Lone Fir Cemetery. Wow. Looks like this is the block that's dedicated to them. And literally no, no headstones or markings. Interesting. Look at those, those tracks. That could have been right through here. As I'm walking through the neighborhoods here, just now leaving the Lone for Cemetery, got me thinking, you know, when this all first started, there was horses with carts and whatnot. And I can only imagine the, you know, sheer audacity that it would took to maneuver those around, pick up all the manure. So going to steam, you know, trolleys and trains definitely probably helped a lot more. Not only was it easier for them to move stuff, but the cleanup and everything. <laughs> 
right there. There's the old tracks. Pretty cool. Still there today. They're not open at the moment, but eventually I want to go in here and check out this skeleton key. Looks really cool. Cutting through the neighborhoods. Look at this little little troll just peed on me. <laughs> Felt good though. It's warm. pretty darn warm out. I didn't expect that though this morning, little buddy. Thank you though. All right. See you later. That's going to do it for today. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Become an official creeper today. If you enjoyed this vlog, make sure you give it a thumbs up. You can ring that bell. That way when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. But until next time, I love you guys very much. Creeper out for now. Peace.